I'm Heather from the Friendship Factory and today I'm going to teach you how to make a satin cord friendship bracelet on my cord friendship bracelet maker. We're actually going to learn how to make the twist pattern today. If you've ever been to one of our Friendship Factory locations, you've probably made this bracelet because this is most popular in our store. So let's get started. Your first step is to open up my cord friendship bracelet maker and in the drawer there will be a variety of pre-cut threads. You can pick out two colors that you love. I picked out the blue and the orange. It should be about arm's length across. It's okay if it's a little bit shorter or longer. And you are going to fold that in half and then make it about 15 inches long for two of the opposite colors on one side. And then you're going to see a loop at the top. You're going to tie a simple knot where the loop is and then the loop should be about one inch long so it should be about that big and then we can start the pattern your first step is to place my cord friendship bracelet maker on a flat surface then you're going to take the top of your bracelet which is the loop you're going to slide it in the bottom of the treble clef where the hook is at the top of the bracelet maker then you're going to find your two shorter strings. You're going to take those two shorter strings and place them through the number three peg on the bottom, then up through the number five, and down through the six. Just like that, so it's looped through. We wanna make sure they stay secure the whole time, so I usually just put the strings underneath as well, so I don't use them. So to make this pattern, it's very simple. You're just going to do a number four pattern the whole time with the same color that's on your left. So in my case, I have the color orange. I'm going to make a number four, and it's gonna be across the two flattened strings, and it'll be over top of them. And then the color that's on your right, you are going to put it underneath the two fastened strings and then up through the number four. You're going to get close to the two fastened strings. You're just going to pull that knot to the top. Then you're going to repeat the process again and it's gonna turn twisty kind of, so you're going to make sure that your orange is still on the left hand side and you make a number four with it. And then you're going to bring your blue underneath the two flattened strings right here and up through the number four. Then get closer to the fastened strings and tie a knot to the top. And just repeat that over and over again. It does get twisty, but you're just going to make sure you always have the same color on your left side and you always make the number four with that color. You will know that you're doing this right if it's starting to twist like this and it looks really pretty. Keep repeating this pattern until you get to the word cord. At the bottom of the word cord, that should be big enough for your wrist. Once you're finished making your perfect twist pattern, you are going to take the two fastened strings out of the pegs just like that then you're going to take all four strings and you're going to tie a simple knot at the bottom make sure you tie it really tight so that it doesn't come loose and then you are going to cut about where your pointer finger ends so at the knuckle so get out a pair of scissors Then you're going to take two opposite colors and tie a knot at the bottom. Just like that. And then do the same to the other side. So it looks like this. Then you're going to take your 
top of your bracelet off of the treble clef and now you can put it around your wrist. So you're just going to slip one of these strings into there, into the loop, and then you're going to tie a simple knot in the bracelet just so that you can keep it on and it's easy to put on and take off just like that. I think it looks really pretty with the blue and the orange. If you made the twist pattern bracelet, just post a photo below so we can see what yours looks like and what colors you chose. And also if you'd like to purchase the My Cord Friendship Bracelet Maker, you can find it on myfbm.com as well as some more pattern tutorials. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and there's so many videos on there that are instructional and a lot of fun. Thank you for watching!